All right, it looks like we're live. I just want to make sure we just will be live on the page in just one minute. Woo early. Welcome you all, just in case you guys are hearing and seeing me and you're saying she's sick and she's not live and she's actually live. But hey, you guys, welcome to Winning Women Network Spotlight Hour. I'm so excited to be here tonight. My name is Keisha Bass, okay? and formerly known as Keisha Simpson. Not that that really mattered tonight, but just thought I'd throw that out there. <laughs> I'm so excited tonight to, um, to you know, Val and I are doing this. We just kind of come up with this idea. Val, actually Val, it's kind of was Val, Val's idea. I give her more credit than I'll take, but she was like, I want to do some interviews, and so I'm just really on the bandwagon with Val on these <laughs> interviews. So, so I, like, I looked at the image that we selected, and I was like, well, I should have put like Valerie Mason host and Keisha Bass as co-host, because Man, Val's going to do all the work, you guys. So. <laughs> <laughs> because she's the most fabulous interviewer. If you've never been experienced Valerie Mason interviewing skills, you will tonight. Now, tonight we have some uh, something very special that we're, we are doing. We have our, our very first, really our first spotlight guest because I was, the, I was the first, but I wasn't really a guest. You know, it's kind of like those, I don't know, whatever. But tonight we have someone that's very special that we have invited here tonight. Now listen, there's some things I want to say. Like I'm just like the Vanna White, like the Vanna pre-Vanna White. Okay, we're going to, I have a giveaway. I have something I'm going to give away. I have an autographed copy of um, Reuben West's new book called Destination Mastery, Seven Steps to Viral Success. Uh, I'm going to be giving that away to someone tonight. Y'all, because I really believe in in the power of giving away, giving things and empowering people. Our whole mission, the Winning Women Network, is to empower, educate, uplift. You know, really see women be their at their best. Right? That's really the goal and the mission and stuff. And so I was, he was so gracious to say, Keisha, I will, you know, hey, I will mail it directly to him. I'll autograph everything. If you don't know him, he speaks with Les Brown. Very phenomenal speaker. Okay, and he has great material. So I wanted to give that away to someone tonight. You don't have to be a woman to win, okay? Because you can be men and women come to these hangouts. So you don't have to be a woman to win that. What I want you to do is be, throughout the interview, if you know how I give away stuff, you have to listen, right? You're going to have to pay attention. So if you got kids screaming and you got, you know, all this stuff going on, then you're going to have to you don't have to get quiet, right? So you may have to ask somebody to help you right about now because you want to pay attention because I don't you know, I, I firmly believe you guys. I mean, I have I have a notebook here, okay? I'm not just telling you something I don't do. I have a notebook here. Anytime someone is agreeing to come and share, right, from them, I want to be receiving, right? I don't know everything. So I, I want you all to be ready to listen, to learn, to glean something uh, from, uh, from Becky tonight, okay? Just a disclaimer, you know what? She may mention her income. She may mention some different things. We cannot guarantee you any sort of success inside of the business, but we do know if you don't get started, we can guarantee you you will get no results. If you don't list items, you'll get no results. It's just that that's just that simple, right? That's a guarantee I can give you. Um, but we wanted to bring her out tonight and just let her just share whatever she wants to share and things like that. I know some of you guys want to put in the chat box right about now, like, what are you selling, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's like, we already know that was like one of the questions people want to know, like, what are you selling, right? And so um, that's really funny. Not sure <laughs> she'll answer that for you tonight, but um, but she'll definitely, I'm sure, give you some cl some clues and some, you know, some tips that you can go out and, and dig your own well, okay? You can go out and dig your own well, make your own 90K or how much ever she's made now because that's probably an old number at this point. You can go and dig your own well, okay? So. Without further ado, okay, I'm going to turn it over to the lovely Valerie Mason, and I'm just going to sit back, and I'll probably interject and get excited <laughs> at some intervals, and you guys just excuse me and when I do that, but Valerie, uh, you can you, can you hear me and everything? My dear? Yes, I can hear you. Okay. I can hear you. Also, use the hashtag, okay? The hashtag, if you're on Twitter, okay, and if you're on um, Facebook, use the hashtag or Instagram, Winning Women Network, okay? That's the hashtag. I'll post it in the comments because I'm going to jump over in the comments so I can connect with you guys, tell me hi, and all that kind of stuff. If you're on Facebook, then share the image that we have created for you to share. It's not too late to get people on the Hangout. Anybody can win the book, so if you want to leverage the book to get prospects on this Hangout, do so, okay, because it is going to be phenomenal. All right, Valerie, I'm done. I've gotten all the intros out. Take it away. 
Oh, uh, five minutes flat. I did it. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're doing great, girl. <laughs> thank you so much, Keisha. And I want to say welcome to everyone. For Thank you for joining us this Sunday. And for those of you who are new, uh, typically on Sundays at 8 p.m. of the Winning Women Network, we feature about nine to ten women who are building a business with DS Domination, a particular business platform where we sell on different e-commerce platforms. However, on a night like tonight, the last Sunday of the month, we want to feature just one special in particular woman and throw the spotlight on her and also kind of put her in the hot seat, but also to give you, the, the audience, the watchers, the chance to ask her some questions. There are some burning questions I know you all have about Becky. Um, for those of you who don't know Becky, Becky has been in DS Domination for a while. I'm not going to tell her story, but she has had tremendous success. For those of you who are in the Unit of Prosperity, you have seen her post in our Facebook group where she has managed to make over $90,000 in, in a very short period of time with DS Domination. So without further ado, I'm going to let you hear from Becky. We're going to pick her brain, ask her how she did it, what's going on, how does she build her business, how she continue to make it grow, and we're going to give you a chance chance later on in the interview to ask your most burning questions and I know what you all want to ask Becky what are you selling but the first thing I want to say is thank you Becky so much for being on with us tonight and uh, my first question to you is what is your background because a lot of people who join our business opportunity tend to think that you know we have this so much experience with e-commerce and then we just jump in and boom we just have the success so I just want to know what is your background before you started DS Domination thanks Valerie can you hear me absolutely okay great well um I grew up in a very small town called North South Carolina. I know many of you probably have not heard of it. It's about 800 people. And a funny story, it's 90 miles southeast of due west, South Carolina. So that's one <laughs> reason that you can always remember North. But I grew up on welfare with a single mom, and it was really hard for her, but she did the best that she could. And I made a decision that I was not going to raise my children and my family like I was raised. So I chose to go to college, graduated from North High, and um, I'm going to have to say when I graduated, my class was a class of 63, and I was, you know how you have senior superlatives? I won two of them. And the first one was the most intelligent, and the second was most likely to succeed. Nice. <laughs> Although I didn't know what that meant back then, and still I don't know what it means now. However, it was a very nice um, recognition that I received. So I went to college on a full scholarship, and my second year there, I decided that I did not like that school, and I was going to transfer to a bigger school. So I transferred to the University of South Carolina in Columbia, and unbeknownst to me, I lost all of my scholarships. <gasps> I quit school, I went home to my mom, and all my friends were like, oh, you're going to drop out of school, and I was like, no, I'm going to go back, so I went back to my original school, which was Francis Marion University, and I did graduate from there, although I had to get student loans, so mm -hmm. then I um, got a job, my first professional career was in the drinking water industry, and I further pursued my education, I um, received a master's in earth and environmental resource management and my company paid for it. So I was like, this is great. <laughs> so then um, in 2000, God sent me a gift and it was my husband Bud and um, I moved down to Charleston or Goose Creek, South Carolina and I didn't know anyone here. So I had a job at a, a water and wastewater company here and so I decided to go back to school and this time that company paid for it. So I received my MBA from um, the Citadel here in Charleston. Wow. So after all that, I decided I had enough school, and then it was time to start paying student loans back. Right. So I was paying them back, and everything was good. And I, I think most of you know that I love Candy Crush. So I was playing Candy Crush, and I'm very goal-oriented and very determined. However, I got stuck. I could not beat this one level. I was spending a lot of time trying to beat this level. And then I said, it was January of this year, actually January the 12th, and it was right around time when it was to 
to do taxes and I was like oh bud we don't have any home business write-offs from last year and we needed some for our taxes so I was like I'm gonna start a business and I'm gonna find some business and it's gonna work for our taxes so twofold one to get tax write-offs from my home based business and two to quit playing Candy Crush <laughs> <laughs> so I um, I found this little online business and it I was doing it at night. It wasn't. It, I was getting paid money, but it wasn't fun, and it was. It wasn't something that I wanted to tell people about or anything. So, I was on Facebook in January when I saw a post on Facebook regarding DS domination, and I, I just checked it out. No one knew that I did. Probably like a lot of you are on here tonight. No one knows that you're checking us out, and I um I really liked what I saw. Now back in 2000, well, Bud and I got married in 2001. And so I had sold a few items on eBay um, to pay for my part of our wedding. And we had packed and shipped and gone to garage sales, and it was just too time-consuming. And so I quickly got over selling on eBay, although it's a great business model. And then I continued to shop on eBay. And sometimes if I buy something like a shirt, I would click on the shirt on the seller to see if they sold other items besides the shirt. And they were selling like rooftop kits and um, you know dog houses, and I was like, how do they have all this stuff in their house? And I just quickly dismissed it and went on about my way. And so then I didn't even think about eBay anymore until DS Domination came along. So DS Domination came along for you in January of this year. Correct. Okay. So now. Did you? Did I hear correctly that you had done other businesses in the past? So yeah. you were looking for new write-offs. So the other businesses that you've done in the past, did you have some success with them? I did. I had success with both of them. My my very first business, the training was phenomenal, and I'm actually still a member of that business just for the training that I receive online. And if you don't learn anything else from me tonight, personal training is the bomb. I mean, you have to continue to learn, and I'm a continual student, so I listen to, you know, self-talk and read books and watch videos and just soak up all the knowledge that I can I can about whatever. So that is one thing that I do continue to do is learn on a daily basis. Okay. So you've had businesses before, and you had some success, but something you still, but and you, you're still with one now because you love the personal development. That's awesome. What about the other businesses that you quit? Was was there a reason why it didn't quite work out for you? Well, the first one, um, it was in 2008, and the that's when the market was dropping, and so I didn't, um, I I did well, but I got out whenever the market was declining. And then my next one was a weight loss product, and it was really hard for me to talk to people about weight. I can talk to them about a lot of things, but it was really hard to just walk up to a stranger and start talking about weight. Right. So, so it just wasn't quite the match for you. Right, right. Right. I can, yeah, I can see that. When something doesn't quite work for your personality and you push it, it just is not going to work. So you have other businesses. You have three degrees <laughs> three degrees and do you currently work or do you just work your business no I actually have a full-time job and um, where I work I am the boss and I don't know if you know but people watch people so I'm very open I told my colleagues that I work with that I'm doing this business I've told my boss everyone knows that I'm doing it however it's like okay here comes Becky what she's selling now and 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 that's how a lot of my friends were because I have been through this bit through several businesses before but now my thought process is I'm not selling anything you know I can tell you about the training I don't want to convince you to do it if you see it you see it if you don't you don't right we get the vision great so you work a full-time job you're the boss at your job mm -hmm. and you work DS domination so one question that seems to be very popular is how do you balance this how do you remain the boss at your job and then continue to build the second income how do you balance it what is your schedule like okay I will have to say when I first started I was super excited and my balance my schedule was way off balance but now it's 
back on track and everything. But um, when I first signed up with DS Domination, I would stay up at night around. I used to go to bed in January. I would go to sleep around nine or nine thirty. But after finding DS Domination, I would go to sleep around eleven thirty or twelve, which was really late for me. So the next morning, I would always stop and get coffee on the way to work. So I, um, I mean, I was alert, but it was just I was so excited. And then um, after, I would still do that a couple of um, nights a week, and then on the weekends, I would list some items. And now my schedule is: I go to work. I have team members from all over the um, countries or all over the world, international. So I have team members in Vietnam and the Dominican Republic and Russia and Canada. So of wow. course we're all on different time zones. So some people I talk to on my way to work in the morning. Some people I talk to, um, I, so I have a schedule. I go to work and then I'll take a break at 10 and I'll eat a snack and like talk to someone. And then at noon, I talk also on my lunch break, except on Wednesdays when I get on the Winning Women Network um, book club. And then at 2 o'clock, I have another snack, and I answer phone calls and Facebook. And then also on my ride home, and or actually to football practice. And then when I was at football practice, I would watch my boys play football, and then we would come home, they would go to bed, and then I would talk to maybe some people out on the West Coast because it was still early afternoon for them. Right. So, I would say, Val, can I interject something? Really yes, quick? please. <laughs> Sorry. Because, you know, I, I remember where people come from. So, Becky, if I'm not mistaken, I remember back when we all first started, you were doing Craigslist, but you were, like, talking to everybody that was that was responding. If that, am I correct? Wasn't that you? Yes, yes, I, and I still do, actually. Um, you know, people are like, Becky, I don't know people. And, and I have 197 people that I have introduced to DS Domination, and I have personally met and talked to only 31 of those 197 people. Wow. And so I did um, advertise on Craigslist, and I would just read a script. And I remember um, my coworkers, they were saying, why are you sitting out in your car? And I would just read a script. And my best friend, we were in a hotel room, and I was just reading the script. And she's like, what are you doing? And it's not that I could talk. And some of you are probably on here that I've talked to, and I just read a script. So if you can read and you can breathe, then you can tell people about DS Domination and give them a chance to possibly change their life like it's changed ours. Are you okay. I'm <laughs> laughing because I remember, like, I mean, and it's, because you make stuff so simple, Becky. I mean, but it's funny because I remember you. Be, we we were like, "How the heck are you talking to this many people?" But you know, I'm laughing because it's so it's so simple how you make it, and I because people just overcomplicate things like way too much and don't you know and don't do anything. And here you are, you're like, "Man, I just was reading the script." You know, I just read the script, and you know, here you got 197 people. On your team, somebody who was, you know, I got, I always say the Candy Crush addict, right? And now I just, you know, uh, yeah. So anyway, so that's why I'm laughing. I'm not laughing at you. I'm just laughing. I at you. Just uh, okay. I, I need to know the script. <laughs> <laughs> I know it by heart. <laughs> who else wants the script? Okay, like look in the comments, but in the comments on the on the on the uh, on the thing on the hangout, you guys let it, let me know who wants the script. Who wants okay? to know Becky's right. script? Who wants to know how Becky uh, sponsored almost 200 people sitting in her car reading scripts? Like, who wants to know that piece of information? I mean, do you understand that this can explode your business? She read a script. Right. I mean, how much easier does that get? So if you want to know that, we're going to need to make, hear some noise in the chat if you want to hear her script. So, okay. Okay, so you work a full-time job, you're the boss, you have a family. So you are basically building your business within pockets of your time. So when you first joined DS Domination, did you buy all the products or did you start with one product and then progress? How did you start? Okay, um, on January the 12th, I just signed up for Pro, which was $19.95. And um, it was a Sunday. And I remember it's Sunday night. I don't know if it was the Winning Women Network, but I think it was like there was a $10,000 earner network oh. or something like that, hangout. 
And I watched it. It was at 8 o'clock, and I was sitting there, brand new, overwhelmed, just watched some videos, and I said, there is no way. They are just lying in their teeth. But I said, I said, I still listened, and I, I mean, there was a bunch of you guys, you know, down there, and I was like, wow, you know, it's not just one, and they're not just from South Carolina or the East Coast, or, you know, you were from everywhere. And, and then I said, then I um, joined Keisha's um, goals, like she had a goal hangout thing, um, and I wrote down my goal in the, on the mirror in the bathroom at work. I wrote it in like a, uh, not a Sharpie, but a, you know, one of those things you can erase. And I was up there, and I wrote it down. I took my picture, and I put it on Facebook. I think it was like I was going to have um, 40 new team members and earn 10K in 90 days. And that was on February the 15th. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Wow. And I was camping. So I was camping, and then she said, you have to make two videos a day. And I was like, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> if you go and look at um, YouTube, oh my gosh, they're out there. But when I did it, I, I'm also a Toastmaster, and I thought I was going to um, achieve another one of my goals, which was to complete my Toastmaster speech on how to accept an award. So I wrote this whole thing up that I was like the number one affiliate earner in DS domination, and I was going to be on stage accepting an award. And it was like my first week in DS domination, but that was how I thought, and I was excited. And that video, if you go out there and see it, it was the hardest video I've ever done in my life because there were like 10 little boys laughing hysterically in the pillows, sitting in my living room, and we must have redone that thing like 10 times, but it was so funny. <laughs> Okay, so listen, Val, we have, I, I know I got a hundred comments. I, this, I have never seen this many comments on a Winning Women Network hangout ever in my life. They're going so fast, I cannot even keep up. I, seriously, like, but listen, this is what I'm going to do, you guys. I, you know, I always have to put an incentive behind something. There's 973 people on this hangout to, right now. I need a thousand people on this hangout. So what does that mean? That means that collectively, you all better get to work and get a thousand people on here because if you get a thousand on here, I'll I'll see about getting the script. Okay, I will I will get the script. Okay, if I have to call her and have her, <laughs> if I gotta fly to South to the North South Carolina, wherever you at, if I gotta get there myself and get the script, then I'm gonna get the script. But I need a thousand people on this hangout. This is life changing information, and and we and we should be sharing it with people. So I need you to get on Facebook. I need you to get on Twitter. I need you to get on Instagram. I need you to get everywhere. Get in a group. Get somewhere. We had 982 people right now, so we're so very close. Oh, to so close. The goal, okay, I'm not playing. So I'm telling you, I will be, I will be, you know, sending messages. Hey, jump on this hangout. Just this on right now, real quick. Okay, you know, like this lady <laughs> made a boatload of money on Amazon, and I want you to just hear her story. You ain't gotta buy nothing. Just get on here because I need to get a script. So you can now, you can use what you want to get. Just, if you would just help me get some people on this hangout so I can get this script so I can build my business in a bigger way. I'm at 983 people. So you there guys you can go. go to the hangout to get a thousand people. I'll let you know when we hit the goal. But if I were All you, right. if I were you, I would be sharing, I would be snapping and jinging and capturing <laughs> images and getting people on the hangout like right now. All right? Awesome. That's what I'd love to do. Thanks. So Becky, you oh, bought so you bought pro. You bought pro and then you wrote your goals. Yes. Okay. And you were still at the pro level. Yes, I was at the pro level only for like um one day because I watched the video and I showed it to my husband and I my husband is a big skeptic. I'm a risk taker, he's a big skeptic. And he supported me through everything that I've done. Like I said, he's my gift from God. And I showed him the video and he said, Becky, that is brilliant. And I was like, Oh my wow. goodness. He's oh he supported me, but he really supported me on this one. And so I knew that I had something, and I was as excited as I am now back uh, back in January when I first saw the video. And he listed his first item. He had never sold on eBay. 
listed his first item and it sold in 15 minutes. Now, my first item, I followed the training to a T and Roger led me to this item and it was a bidet. And Bud said, now Becky, who's going to buy a bidet? I said, I don't know, but this is what <laughs> Roger told me to list or trained me how to find. So guess what? My bidet sold. So if I can sell a bidet, then I know you can sell anything. So you only stayed at Pro for one day? Well, actually, um, it was, that was Sunday. No, he sold his first item on Monday, and then on Wednesday, so it was two days. Then on Wednesday, um, um, Rod, it was a, a, a hangout on um, Pro, and Roger was talking about Monopoly. And Monopoly was $499. Now, you never know what people are going to buy. So I was sitting on this um, webinar with Roger, and he said, if you sign up for Monopoly tonight, I will give you 200 UPC codes. I didn't know what 200 UPC codes were, but it sounded like a good deal, so <laughs> I bought it. I, I bought it. Now, I told my husband afterwards, I was like, hey, I spent $499 last night. He was like, oh, it's okay. And so um, I got it. Now, don't do like I did. Do like I'm going to say to do. You need to watch the videos because if <laughs> and before you write into the help desk, you need to watch the videos because I, no lie, I wrote into Roger. I said, Roger, these UPC codes you gave me, they don't work. There's not one on Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> videos, guys. <laughs> That's all. You gotta watch. And if, for those of you that don't know, if you sell on Amazon, you do need a UPC code to sell on Amazon. And that was that was my reply. My I, I probably need to look it up because I said, you know, they don't work. For those who don't understand, well, to make it clear, when you first start selling on with DS Domination at the pro level, you're selling on an eBay platform. You're learning how to sell on eBay. But there are advanced levels of training, such as Monopoly, which Monopoly shows you how to actually sell on Amazon. So that's more advanced level training. But Becky here took a leap of faith. You know, there are different levels, and Becky went from one, which is basically the, the foundation. She jumped to a mastery level platform. So Becky, you jumped to Monopoly <laughs> and then you didn't really watch all the videos. You had these questions for Roger. You were just all over the place. So what happened with Monopoly? Did it ever work out for you? <laughs> it did. It did. <laughs> I, I, I bought Monopoly, but you know, the owners of this company are so smart and all of these modules and higher advanced training, they, they fit together like a puzzle. So basically I had Pro and I had Monopoly, but I was missing a piece of the puzzle, which was Elite. So I was like, okay, I have to go back and buy Elite. So I purchased Elite and then I watched the training. And I so I started in January. So I, I did not sell my first item on Amazon until March the 17th. And that was St. Patrick's Day. And I sold a living room set, and my profit was $324.18. Nice. Now, remember, I paid $499 for Monopoly, so I had already made back $324.18. So basically, it pretty much paid for itself with one sale on Amazon, and all along, I had been selling on eBay. So my initial investment in this company still is only $19.95. Nice. So you sold a living room set and made over three hundred dollars. And to date, Becky, how how much have you made on just Amazon alone? I know you have a team from all over the world, but just selling on the Amazon platform alone, how much have you made, and in what period of time? Okay, so last month my profit just on Amazon was, um, or for the past nine months was. Nine months was eighty thousand dollars but now it's over ninety thousand dollars in just less than a month because I'm profiting anywhere from fifteen to twenty thousand dollars a month. And the month of October profit, over. not sales, profit. Profit. Yeah, my sales are at about three hundred thousand dollars on Amazon alone hmm. in the past nine months. 
Jeez. Okay, Becky. So you know this is a question everybody wants to ask, and I'm not going to ask it. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> what I want to know is how many items – okay, no. We're going to go back. How on earth did you do it? What did you do? Like, you say watch the training, because I know sometimes when you post in our Facebook group, but people are like, what's the secret you're holding back? What are you not telling us? What don't I know? You know, if only you share what you know, the secret. So, Becky, how? How, 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 how? Is what okay. everybody wants to know. Okay. Like, what was it? Was it like a miracle item? Was it 8,000 items? Like, are you selling, like, are you selling crack? What are you selling? Like, what, how did you do this? Okay. Well, on Easter, I was um, sick. And so I did not go to church. And I was, I was kind of sick, you know, not sick enough to be asleep in the bed, but just laying around in the bed, if, if you know what I mean. Yeah. But not well enough to get up and get dressed for church. And so... One of the things that we are taught is that you can go back and forth between Amazon and eBay. And sometimes when you're looking at eBay and you'll see in red, it'll say 293 items sold, 500 items sold, 17 items sold. And so I was just flipping through eBay and I saw this item and it said, this one happened to say like 22 items sold in the last hour. And I was like, Hmm, let, let me see what this is. And so I went over to Amazon. So I found it on eBay. I took it over to Amazon, and it was already selling on Amazon. So I did not have to use one of my UPC codes. But before I did that, I didn't know where they were getting them from. So I did a little search. And for my product, the manufacturer is also in the name of the product. So it was a very easy search for me to find out. Now, I have been trying to find other products like this one um, since then, and they are there, and I have found some, but I found them through different ways, and I'll share how I found those, too. But that's how I found my main product, and as most of you know, I went to Vegas in May, and Kevin said, hey, does anyone have a good Amazon story? And in May which was my first kind of full month selling on Amazon, my sales were $35,000. Wow. I remember standing on stage and looking at all these little people. <laughs> you could see nothing but lights, and I was so right. nervous. But it was great to, to get on stage and share my story. So in my Toastmasters speech, I was on stage, not for having the most affiliates, but for telling my story on Amazon. Aww. Oh, so you found this item on eBay. So I hope you guys picked up the secret. She found an item on eBay that was selling a lot. Then she went to find it on, if it was selling on Amazon, it was. Then she sought out the manufacturer. I mean, that's like a million dollar, like, she just gave you, she just threw a million dollars in your lap. What you choose to do with this, like, up to you. So this is one item that you found, and you're finding others. So on average, how many items um, do you have for sale on Amazon? Um, right now I have 14 items on yeah, Amazon. Just 14 items. Yeah, 14. That's and I'll give you another secret. They're, most of them, I'd say 10 of the 14 are consumables. So that <laughs> means that people use them and then they reuse them or you buy, purchase more. So you'll have repeat sales. And awesome. so that's, that's one thing. And so... This one hot item that I have, I don't use it. It's not for me. So I went on YouTube, and I wanted to see what made it so popular and, you know, why was it selling like hotcakes. And I actually found this one YouTube video where this girl was comparing my product to its competitor. Oh. So I was like, oh. So then I started researching the competitor, and now that competitive product is bringing me two thousand dollars a month profit on Amazon, so I have that one and the competitor, and I'm thinking about bundling them both. So if you want to try them, you could buy one item and then you know try each one and see which one you like the best. Wow! So related items. She found related items. I hope people are writing things down. <laughs> so you found related items, and you're only selling fourteen items. That's that's crazy. <laughs> that's just crazy. That's so, crazy. I mean, I'm like, that's crazy, Becky. <laughs> that's 
that's ridiculous. That's and there's 999 people on this hangout. That's this is a record. We just need one more person. This is a record hangout, Becky. We have never had this many people on a Sunday night on the Winning Women Network. So you are a stellar act. Super okay? star. <laughs> like, there's well, not to a thousand people except at the DS Domination event. So I'm excited. Oh yes. my! All right. Yes. So here's something I I've heard people ask: Was it um? You, when you were learning the Monopoly training, was it really difficult? Was there a steep learning curve for you, or was it something you know, was something you had to keep reviewing? Like, how did you find the Monopoly training? Because there are a lot of people who who are interested, but they're you know they're a little skeptical. What would they have to do? Okay. Um, well, I do it. I do this part time, so I didn't get to watch all the training in one night or even two nights. So it took me, like I said, I purchased it in January and I wasn't ready to start selling until March but I um, watched some training uh, some other people do it much faster than I do and I don't know if you know me or not but if I watch a movie I fall asleep and I met my husband the first night I fell asleep watching the Green Mile I go to the movies now I fall asleep I don't care who you are I'm gonna fall asleep so Roger's videos I've fallen asleep a lot <laughs> Nothing personal against Roger. I just fall asleep, and so I guess there's not enough action for me. It's got to be moving, but so I think that's my ADHD kicking in too. But um, so when I watched the Monopoly videos, I watched a little bit at a time, and it started clicking. It just clicked, and it started making sense. And at that time, Genesis wasn't out, which is our um, top product. But what I found in Monopoly was basically the the same thing because when I was earning my MBA, I learned about supply chain management. And I'm in the water industry, so I'll give you a, a quick example. Bottled water. A lot of people buy bottled water. You can fill up your bathtub, 36 gallons, for two cents. But yet you'll buy a 16-ounce bottle of water for, let's say, a dollar. So six, 16 ounces versus 32 gallons. Mm. So two cents versus a dollar. So where does that cost from the bottled water come from? Well, 90% of that cost is from the manufacturing, the marketing, the distribution, taking it to a warehouse, driving it to Walmart. And each of those steps add cost. So if you take two cents to you know, make the bottle cap and five cents for the bottle and then the water has to be, well, it doesn't have to be because our water is better than bottled water. However, bottled water is treated further than conventional water treatment is. So it's more of a marketing ploy on the population. And then people don't recycle the bottles and they get thrown in landfill. And now I'm getting off on my environmental kick. <laughs> Wait, my eyes are starting to gloss over. <laughs> and I'm starting to think about my bottle of water in the truck, and I'm thinking, like, oh, my God, how much money did I just pay for this water? <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Well, we have a 1,008 people on this Hangout now. Um, Becky, I don't know how you want to get this script to me, but uh, you're going to have to give me the script. Okay? <laughs> At the end, I'll tell you the secret. Okay. Okay, so awesome. so now you guys got to stay to the end because not only are we giving away a book, a book. that was written by yeah we're giving away um um destination mastery um five steps seven steps to a uh, viral success so we're giving away that book and then to not only add to add on to that you guys Becky's gonna give us another secret as well so it's not too late to get people on this hangout and stuff like that I don't know. What people, there's no way I'd have missed this. I don't care. I had to, I actually missed the church. Like, and not that I, you know, I went to church this morning, so don't don't start sending me no messages. <laughs> you know, you heathen, you miss church. No, that's not what I'm saying. Um, but I, you know, I have commitments and stuff. I'm committed to the Winning Women Network, and so I'm here to learn. I got some notes, too. Right? <sighs> right. So, Vicki, someone who's new to Monopoly, what would be some advice you would give someone who's completely brand new to Monopoly and like you, you know, they may not quite know where to begin. What would you tell them? I would tell them to watch the videos <laughs> and then watch the videos again and then watch them the third time. And even people on my team, they ask me questions 
And I don't know the answer. I don't have to know the answer because Roger tells you, trains you in the video step by step what to do. And if you have a question, then there's 15,000 sponsors, if you will, in our Unit of Prosperity Facebook group that can help answer any question that you may have. However, watch the videos first before you post it because like me, the, the question's probably already answered in the training. Right, right. So besides the products, um, what would you attribute your success to? An amazing husband, um, for one. And then next, it, it has to be that personal development. I am a, a firm believer in personal development. And this is funny. Um, my coworkers that I work with, they've been through like every company with me too. And, and they know um, how I am. But throughout all of them, whether I was with the company or not, I always listened to personal development. And so one year for Boss's Day, my um, colleagues, which are my chemists, they all made a video for me. Not a video, an audio. And it was a pet personal development audio. And it was like, Chinese, you love Chinese, you <laughs> eat Chinese food, or raises. We're going to all get raises. So they were giving me all this personal development that, um, so I could listen to it from my CD. So I thought that was really cool. At first, I was just playing it in. My, I'm sorry. No, say it again. Oh, at first, I was just playing it in my office, and they could hear it. And then I was like, "Well, I'll just put the, um, you know, headphones in and put one headphone in my ear." And and my door is always open, so they can come in. But I just think it's funny that they made fun of my personal development and my car. Oh my gosh, my car is like a rolling library. Every day, I'm listening to something. I don't listen to the radio. And actually, I think, Valerie, I've never heard of um, Scandal or Scoundrel or whatever that show is until you said you were going to miss it. And I'm like, what is it? I don't watch TV either. <laughs> so it's wow. like, oh, that's my guilty pleasure right there. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the name of it? Scandal? Scandal. It is Scandal. <laughs> Scandal. So, Becky, personal development. What are you listening to in your car right now? I was just about to ask that. Oh my like, ah, God, you're like so perfect. I was just like, right, what's, what's in your car? Well, I'm a huge, huge, huge Danny Johnson fan. She's awesome. And so I listen to her. Um, I also have Shad Helmstetter, which is um, mm -hmm. self talk. And but Danny Johnson is probably my most favorite mentor. And I'll have to say, I went to see her maybe two or three weeks before I came to um, Vegas. Now, oh, did you go to First Steps? Was that First Steps? I did. I went to First Steps awesome. with Danny in Baltimore, Maryland, and I was so excited. She's, you know, she's a life coach. She has a great story, and it doesn't matter if you're in sales or not. She'll, she'll just help you and bless your life. But I went to Baltimore, Maryland, and I had a flight, and I had a hotel, and I got up there. I did not even register for First Steps to Success. <laughs> I went downstairs. They're like, you're not registered. And I'm I'm like, really? I'd have paid my money that day <laughs> to go. But it was worth every penny and then some. So you listen to Danny Johnson. Is there anything in particular by Danny that you would enjoy? Um she has the well, she has North Carolina CDs. And yes. I listen to those. And then she has prospect. Becky, did we, Becky? Yes, can you hear me? Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> so she has the North Carolina CDs, and what was the other one? Oh, Prospecting. Yeah, Prospecting and Closing, and then I also um, listened to the First, Step to, First Steps to Success seminar. I bought the whole recording, so I listened to that in my car also. Wow. And are you reading? Do you also read? Oh, Absolutely. There again, I have like four books on my bedside table. Um, I haven't finished all of them yet, but I read out of each of them daily. The first one's my Bible. This is the book um, that Keisha and the group is doing in the um, Wednesday the book. book club at noon. And then I'm reading Think and Grow Rich. The one with Keisha is How Successful People Think with John Maxwell. Awesome. And I have a a fictional book that I'm also reading. So I have four books depending on my mood, which one I read. 
Well, we're at a point where, well, we're about 15, 20 minutes before the end of the Hangout, so I'm going to give the viewers an opportunity to ask Becky questions. So if you're in the chat, this is now the time to ask your particular question, and I'll take a look over at my iPad and see if you have anything in particular for Becky that we haven't touched upon that you're just dying to know, as I know. Becky, Any I have a question for you. Okay. Go ahead, Keisha. Uh, Chad, what was the name of the guy? Like you said, Danny Johnson and Chad. Oh, Shad Helmstetter. Can you spell that for me, please? Yes. S is in Sam. H A D. Uh huh. And then Helmstetter. H E L M S T E T T E R. And what kind yeah. of books? Yeah, he has a whole series of like self-talk books. Okay. So it's like eating healthy. Um, yeah, weight loss, sale, everything. Yes, he's great. And it's audiobooks? Um, it's a CD, yes, or DVD. Okay, awesome. That's what I, that was that was my question. Thank you. Okay. Becky, we have a question for you. Okay. Um, someone said, please share your tips for Monopoly. It's a learning curve for me. So do you have another Monopoly tip or two that you could share? Um. So I guess my main thing would be to watch the training and then also go back and watch Roger's, um, the webinars that he does, especially for Monopoly. And if if they have certain questions regarding the companies um, and the cash back and things of that nature, of course it's addressed in the training. Okay. Ah, here's a good question. It's a question for you. So you definitely sell on Amazon and you have a team. So how much of your money that you, how much money would you say, would you attribute to the affiliate side in terms of all of the income you've made with DSD? Is it 50%, 80% from, from being an affiliate or are you mainly making your money on the e-commerce side with the actual product? Okay, it's actually 10%. Um, I've crossed $100,000 and I have earned $10,000 with deathomination from the affiliate side. So 10% is from my telling people about it and giving people a chance to change their lives. So what you're trying to tell us, Becky, is that you made money without recruiting. That's <laughs> That's what you're That's and a lot of people like that. I mean, you know, they're they do. like me, right? They don't want to even tell people you know what they're doing and the beauty is you don't have to tell anyone. Okay. So if you don't want to read, that's fine. If you breathe, you can still do eBay and Amazon. Okay. Let's see here. I'm waiting for my screen to Here we go. Okay. Um question Becky, are you drop shipping or sourcing or both? Okay, I do both. For my main product, I order from the manufacturer. And then I also have local retailers because it's selling so fast I can't keep up with the product. So I have three local suppliers and one day I came home from work and I had like 200 orders. And I was okay. like, oh my gosh, how am I going to do 200 orders? So I brought um, the neighborhood boys came over and they all, you know, put it's a, a vitamin and they all put one bottle of vitamins and a feedback slip and an Amazon label. And we put it off, but my son, of course, everyone wants to know what's in the bottle. So I told, <laughs> I told my son Cameron, I was like, Cameron, you can't tell anyone what's in this bottle. And he said, okay. So when his friends were over packing the, the boxes he, or the bags, he said, you can't talk about what's in the bottle. So Alex went <laughs> home and told his mom, mom, we're shipping medicine, but I'm not allowed to talk about it. And so, of course, Miss Amy called me, and so then I decided, okay, we're going to ship all these to Amazon, and we're going to do FBA, and so now, the, what, I, what happens now is I, get a, I got paid last night, so I get a deposit every two weeks from Amazon, anywhere from twenty to $35,000 every two weeks, and then um, I get, I I get a... Huh? Sorry, I thought I was muted. My bad. <laughs> I get twenty-five to thirty-five thousand every two weeks from Amazon, and then I also get a little email that says Amazon has sold and shipped the item you sold. I, Amazon has sold and shipped the item you sold. So that was the main thing. Is that that's a little distracting because I'm constantly looking at my phone just to see how many 
Amazon is sold and shipped, but there's nothing I can do about it, so I just need to quit looking at it. Yep, there's nothing you can do about all that success, Becky. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and two, I, I wanted to mention one other thing is um, Keisha did say I advertised on Craigslist, and I did, and this lady replied to my ad because I had something in there about Amazon and eBay, and she lived here in South Carolina on Daniel Island, which is right near Charleston, and she misunderstood the ad. She thought it was someone that would work for her company to be like a marketing person for Amazon and eBay, but she, her husband was, or her fiancé, um, was the manufacturer of diapers here. So I am now selling diapers on Amazon, and they wow. show the product directly to Amazon on pallets. And so, once again, I just get the emails and the deposits. That is awesome. Connection. Connections. Here's a question. How did you manage the scaling up of your business? Yeah, that's great. I put $25,000 on my credit card, and my husband found out, and I thought he was going to have a conniption fit. <laughs> it was items that had already sold, so I knew the money was coming back from Amazon. It wasn't like I went out and spent $25,000. So he was like, okay, Becky, you have to separate our personal finances from a business. So I ended up um, forming an LLC, and I got a business loan um, in the beginning, and then, of course, it's like paid off and everything. So that's how I started was just um, floating it on my credit card. Okay. What challenges did you face when starting in DS Domination? Um, the first challenge was like I was saying about my friends. They're like, oh gosh, here comes Becky. You know what she's selling now. But what they don't know is every time when they told me no, it just motivated me to find someone else to tell about this amazing company. And at that time, I wasn't, I mean, I was, I wrote a goal to pay my cell phone bill. And, um, you know, my very first month, I paid my cell phone bill and my husband. So it wasn't like, you know, I was making huge amounts of money, but, you know, $300 a month extra is a lot of money to a lot of people. It and, is. Yeah. So, I mean, even if, I mean, granted, 100K is huge, but, you know, I didn't start off at 100K. It was $300. And then I, you know, um, gradually increased. But there, there also is a company out on the web. It's called Cabbage.com, and you can get a business loan from them, and they connect directly to your Amazon and eBay accounts. And um, you don't, it does, it's not dependent on your credit score or anything. Wow. Yeah. Another question. I think I touched upon this. Um, uh, did you start at the pro level and work up to Monopoly or just jump straight to Monopoly? And I, think, and I think you said you just basically jumped right to Monopoly. Right, I jumped. And if you're on the affiliate side, you always hear um, you, never, you never know what people are going to buy. And so, you know, I, I tell people to only purchase what you can afford. And if you can only afford pro, only buy pro. I have um, people on my team that started out at the pro level and now they have Genesis and all the products. And then I have people on my team that have come in and just bought straight up to Genesis. So it depends on your finances and where you are. But I do know if, if you opened a business like a, a pizza business, a pizza restaurant, you're not going to close your business the first month if nobody shows up. Right. So at least give it a year or start small. Give it three months and then give it six months. And, you know, then you can scale up from now. But I know if you work this program that you will get your $19.95 investment back. And, and granted, I have the money and I have a big heart and I want to pay for it for all of you, but it would be a major disservice if I did that because you have to want it. And yeah. how bad do you want it and what will you do to get it? Because if I give it to you, it's, it's like a free ride. And right. It's not doing you any good. Another question, how did you get good on doing your titles? Oh, okay. I, I definitely used um, the training in the back office on the title builder. And then I, would, I watched um, Reginald's training and the UOP training site. And I just followed both of those um, trainings. Okay. Becky, do you work all of the products? Do you have all the products? I do. I am brand new. The, you know, we always hear about Roger and Hitesh, 
And I'll have to give Kevin kudos because I knew nothing about internet marketing. And there's a product called Market Extreme. And I, I mean, I had an email online. That's all I have. And now I have like a, and not only Kevin, I mean, I've learned a lot from Kevin, but Reginald and our team, um, the you know, Unit of Prosperity Marketing System, which you also get for free um, when you join our team, it has a, a lot of information in the back office on, you know, how to write emails, how to set up AWeber, which are automatic responders. A person on my team, they said, you know, I got a message at 3 o'clock in the morning. Were you awake? And I'm like, oh, <laughs> honey, I'm sleeping. <laughs> so, um, it, and you can set those messages to come out at any time. Okay. Do you sell exclusively on Amazon? No, I also sell on eBay. I also sell on Google. So I um, utilize all the products and I use all the avenues um, that are available to me. Okay. Do you have a tax accountant or bookkeeper? I need a bookkeeper. So <laughs> you definitely will me. need one this tax time. <laughs> However, I do have a tax accountant, and um, I would highly recommend it. We do have a tax webinar in the pro training as soon as you sign up. Now, when I first started, I did not have a tax accountant because it was a hobby. And when right. you're, you know, I can't give you tax advice, but for me, it was a hobby. Although I knew and I was determined that I was going to make it a business because that was my whole goal. I needed tax write-offs, and now we have them. Okay. Let's see. Okay, we already covered suppliers earlier in the in the interview, so you may want to go back and watch that, Tojo. Are you working Genesis at all? Oh, absolutely. Um, Genesis is where you order directly from the manufacturer. So even though I found my main flagship product in Monopoly, it is um, from the manufacturer. I am corresponding with China. And we will finish with football season um, tomorrow. We'll have our last game. And then after that, I will um, have my product branded and delivered to my house. Nice. Do you have, oh, do you outsource at all? I don't yet, but I, I am going to um, be in a position to do that soon when I find the right one. I'm asking a lot of questions on how to find the right um, outsource or virtual assistant. Okay. And can we get more of a breakdown of your daily routine? Uh, perhaps an example of your time breakdown for each task every day. Okay. So um, on the weekends is when I schedule my AWeber or my automatic replies that go out um, to my um, team. And so I set all those up in a block of time. And I actually am pretty old-fashioned, so I have a calendar that you hand write on and so the first thing um, on my calendar every day is my time with God and so I highlight that and I also always write in pencil and so then the next color I have highlighted is blue and that's my time with my husband and then my yellow is my time with my kids and then green um, I have highlighted in certain times and that's my, it stands for money. So that's my um, IPA or income producing activities. And usually they are after my kids go to bed, um, like between 8 and 8.30 during the week. And then also I, I do work some on um, Saturdays calling, like I was on the phone um, earlier today. But it's on like a case by case basis. Okay. So you're working the business at night after your kids go to bed. And on average, how many hours would you say you're working per day or per week? Well, last month I worked 10 hours for the whole month. My, I will have to say my husband is like the, um, our vice president of logistics for <laughs> our, for our vitamins. He actually drops them off at UPS for us um, because he works 24 hours on and then on his 48 hours off is are you know two or three boxes to UPS each week so including his time it would probably be maybe 11 hours a week or a month now so 11 11 hours per month not a week per month yes is what you're doing just with DS domination yes okay now does that include both the e-commerce side and anything you do with uh, the affiliate side as well yes that's that's everything okay great 
Wow. That, <laughs> I, I, like, I just want to end the hangout. Bow, like bow. Okay, okay, I'm like, yeah. you know what? I'm ending the hangout to the live broadcast because I'm getting, you know, this is just like, I'm done. Okay. <laughs> I'm working too hard, Keisha. I'm working way too hard. <laughs> like, Becky, we, you know what? The, uh, we're not going to record the after show, and I'm sorry. You know, <laughs> still, you don't get to see the after show. It's unrecorded. But trust me, in the after show, it's going to be on today, okay? <laughs> That's good. Oh, my good. Okay, okay. So questions, questions, questions. Okay. Um, what is the minimum profit per item would you say is a good idea not to go below to make it worth selling on Amazon? So an idea of what is your average profit per item? Well, I try to profit a third of my item, but I have high quantity. So it depends on the item that you pick um, or, or that you find because you can have a smaller profit margin and sell a larger quantity. Like some of, one of my items I sell over a thousand times a month. So if I have a $20 profit item, which I do on that one item, you know, that's $20 times a thousand profit. Right. Um, and sometimes it sells 700, 800, you know, 700 to 1300 a month. Okay. How many listings do you have to put on Monopoly to earn approximately $2,000 a month? That's difficult. That can so vary. Well, um, if, I, if I had one listing for a couch and, you know, I made $24.18 <laughs> if you sold it, you know, seven, six or seven times, which I have products on Monopoly and they just keep selling over and over and over. So it really depends on the product that you find. Right. Let's see, I answered that question. Okay. Okay. I think we covered your schedule at the beginning, so that's at the beginning of the Hangout. Okay. <laughs> Everybody wants to link to the after show. <laughs> okay, so I think that seems to be the end of the questions. And would you look at the time? It's like 9.01. Um, All right. So... That is it for the questions here. Awesome, awesome. Becky. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. I had fun. Thank you. Well, Man. here's the question. Are we going to uh, the script? The script. Yes. So this we so we have the script, but before she gives the script, okay, before she gives the script, um, I just want, want first of all just say thank you, Becky, so much for for, for doing this. Right for just you know taking out some time. You know I know you only work eleven hours a month, so <laughs> to this ask you to hour. right right to ask you to work another hour and considering you know you guys but this is but this is serious though on a serious serious note. Um, a lot of times when we uh, when you all when some of our team members I want you to see how this works when you ask us to do certain things and you see how much what's the investment of of the time is okay so for Becky for someone who uh, her profit margin is 15 she gets a check from Amazon every two weeks for 15 to 15 they say 15 to 20 thousand is what you said yeah, right. a deposit she gets a deposit from Amazon for 15 20 thousand dollars every two weeks and this is every two weeks okay so we're talking about 30 thousand 40 thousand dollars a month right mm -hmm. so an hour of her time you break that down okay like you can calculate, so an hour of a t of her time for someone who makes thirty to forty thousand dollars a month, it's it's that's a lot of money, right? I mean, so her time is is very valuable. Okay, so I want you to, from the bottom of my heart, I want to say, you know, I really appreciate, you know, because you could you could easily be, you know, have you could easily be charging right now thousand dollars for somebody to talk to you. Right, right. You know, for an hour of your time, man. You, you know. So thank you so much for, for, you know, for doing that. And and you all remember when, when you, when you talk to your leaders. I mean, you know, some of us, some of us, you know, your commission is ninety five cent, right? But you want us to get on the phone and you know do all this talking and stuff for a ninety five cent commission. Time is valuable, right? I, I just want to break one thing down, Keisha. Forty thousand dollars a month uh -huh. divided by eleven hours uh -huh. is. Thousand six hundred and thirty-six dollars an hour. Okay, there you go. Uh, I just <laughs> I, I I want you to see how crazy. That <laughs> so so thank you for you know I really appreciate you coming coming out and sharing your time and you know and showing us 
even myself, you know, Val, I'm sure all of us can see that, you know, you've done it, you've, you've paid the way and shown us what can really be done. And some of you are, you know, watching tonight and you're probably like, what the heck is this? Somebody invited me. I just saw this post on Facebook. Maybe you were playing Candy Crush just like <laughs> Becky, right? You were playing Candy Crush and then you saw, you know, something pop up in your news feed saying this lady had made $90,000 on Amazon and she didn't recruit, you know, without recruiting. That's, you know, without recruiting. Maybe that's how you got here tonight, and I want you to know that you're absolutely in the right place. Um, I was just looking at this quote, you all, that and many of you know my imperfect action type of lifestyle, right? And I was looking at this quote by um, um, George Patton, I want to say is what his name is. But he said, a good, plan, a good plan executed today is better than a perfect plan executed somewhere in the future, right? And many of you are waiting for this perfect plan plan for you to get started maybe you're in the program and you have it upgraded to the next level or whatever it may be and Becky has definitely every time I hear her speak she says the same thing the more you learn the more you earn if you have not listened to her and if you haven't if you don't write that down you write that down tonight the more you learn the more you earn so so don't get mad if you have to pay more money to get more training that's just the way it goes right but maybe you're here tonight you haven't even got started you know, at the 1995 level, that's where Becky started, right? With an imperfect plan and say, you know what? I, I don't have anything to lose. And she got started. So many of you need to click the button and get started tonight on an imperfect plan. You don't have a plan and that's okay, right? Just, we want you to get started tonight. We'll help you craft a plan as we go, but we don't want you to wait till some perfect opportunity, which will never come. The perfect opportunity never shows up. Right, you make the you make the, the time right now perfect. It's perfect for you because you say it's perfect. So I'm excited about many of you getting started tonight. We do have some stuff to give away. Becky has her script, um, and and maybe some other secrets. I don't I don't know. I mean, I certainly thought we'd be here much longer. I thought we'd be here for about two hours. I'm not gonna lie, um, but you know, for us to finish in an hour is really really cool. Um, but we do have we do have a book to give away. Okay. Um, seven steps. I think it's five steps of viral success. If you guys want to have success, then you want this information, which she said she talks a lot about, you know, information. So it's just perfect to give away a book when you got a speaker like this that comes on and is just pushing you to get more information. Val, is there anything else that you have before I go to the book giveaway? Um, honestly, I'm just, I'm totally floored, and I want to thank Becky again for taking the time out to be with us tonight. Um, there's, you know, Becky always talks about you have to be willing to invest in yourself. That is the only way you are going to progress to whatever level you say that you want. So here you have an opportunity. Here you've heard an amazing story. And just like Becky, at one point she was looking at other people, just like you're probably looking at us going, she's lying. But you know what? No, she's not. She right. invested in herself. She invested in this business, and that's why she's here. That's why she's talking. And she shared so much with you tonight. You have the opportunity to make hundreds, if not millions of dollars with what she dropped with you. And remember, her time is worth $3,600. Wow. And she's not here for free tonight and shared with you so much information. And I just hope that everyone takes the opportunity and takes the time to put it to good use. And Absolutely. that's really it because that's something that you can't, you cannot put a price on. You just can't. Right. Absolutely. Can I add one more thing? Yes. You know you can. Girl, you <laughs> We know. <laughs> Whatever you want. <laughs> Whatever you want. We're just waiting. I always get asked, um, you know, if, if I join your team, will you be a good sponsor? And I've joined other teams and my sponsor wasn't good. And I have to say, my sponsor quit. So it has to come with, from within you. That's not to say that I won't help you, but if you want it, and like I said, we have 15,000 people in this in our Facebook group that can help you answer questions and um, I've helped many people that are on my team that aren't on my team that have seen me on YouTube or wherever they saw me and if if you give to people it'll come back to you it's not like you know I won't share with you my knowledge because I'll share everything with you and oh, one other main thing in the beginning I when I signed up it took me time and you know, God bless the people that watch that intro video and they're like, well, why should I pay for that training? Training, Roger's already showed me 
everything I need to know. And I, I hang up the phone. I just pray for them because I watch the training, and I'm like, oh, my goodness. you know. And it is overwhelming. I'm not going to sit here and say that it's not. Um, you have to watch that training, and it's easy, and it's simple. But you have to watch it, and you have to do it. And so I would spend time, and even now, you know, some people will say, can you come help me find a product? And I, I can find one sometimes right away, and sometimes I can't. It's not like, you know, a magic pill. So, so I don't want you to go away with the impression that I've always worked 11 hours a month because when I first started, I did it. It was January, and, you know, this is funny, too. I always hear people, well, won't eBay get saturated? And I'm like, well, it was January, and I was selling snow cone machines to people in Australia. So, you, you know, it's their summertime there in Australia. So to all my Australian friends, hello. <laughs> but, you know, you can sell anything to anyone at any time of the day. If they want it, they'll buy it. That's good. That's a really, really good tip. Okay, anything else? No. Nothing? No, I think we're good. I think um, people are anxiously awaiting. <laughs> nice. Okay, so let's give away the book first. Okay. okay. Um, so this is how this is going to go. Um, you're going to, uh, there's something that Becky has mentioned throughout this interview, and I wrote it down, um, and what you're going to do is you're going to send me the answer, okay, so you're going to send me the answer via email, so if I were you, I would already have my email account open, and I have a new email message ready to go, okay, because I'm going to give you the, I'm going to give you the uh, the email address and everything to send this this email to and what I want, and I'm very, as you guys know from the last giveaway, I have to be very strict on on the right answer, okay? It, it can't be partly the way, it has to be the right answer, spot on, and I'll keep going through emails until I find someone who give me the right answer, okay? Um, so, listen, so there was, Becky, we talked about a lot of things, but there was one thing in particular I wrote down. Becky um, sells, first of all, there's a certain type of item she sells. So I want, you, I want you to tell me, first of all, how many items does Becky have listed on Amazon? And the second thing is, how many of those, of that number is consumable items? Because she gave exactly how many items she's selling. She gave how many of those, that, those items are consumable items. And you're going to send the answer to winningwomennetwork at gmail.com. So the first person that sends you the correct answer um, we will be mailing you an autographed copy of The Seven Steps to Viral Success by Ruben West. Um, and, uh, you know, it's if you want viral success, then, you know, that's what you want to do. You want to get it. You want to get this book, okay? It's brand new. We just released it in everything. Um, and I was so fortunate to get um, a copy of it. So, well, a few copies. So he gave me an autographed copy. And he said he'll send it directly to you. So awesome. So that is... Let me go look at the email because it's probably flooded already. Last time I did this, <laughs> last time I did this was like emails already, already come. Okay, so let's see here, and we're delayed too. So, oh wow. Yep. So it looks like we already have a winner. Hopefully you're in wow. the. Wow. We have a winner just that quick. Um. So let me just make sure because last time I looked at here and now I'm I still see one person. One wow. person, but now they're starting to come in, okay? Okay, yeah, we actually, we have a winner, you guys. Um, yeah, we do have a winner. And um, let's see here. We have, and maybe maybe the runner-up, Becky, may do something special. Maybe she'll spare 15 minutes of her time or something. She talks, she talks, <laughs> to, people, she talks to people on the phone and on her lunch break and stuff. So maybe <laughs> Becky would do a 15-minute coaching call with someone, Becky? I will, I will. Ooh, this is awesome. getting juicy. Oh my god, this is getting juicy. Okay, so listen, you guys. Oh my god. Okay, so I'm gonna so the first person and 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 um yeah, so the first person is going to win. I know the first person is probably be like, No, I want to win. <laughs> Oh my God! Sometimes, sometimes it's best to be second. I mean, you know, hey, I, you know, in this case, it's best to be second. Okay, so listen, and they're flooding in. Okay, guys, let me move down. Okay, so the 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 first the first winner, the winner of the book, 
is Carmen, and I don't know how to say your last name, sweetest. It's E C H E V A R R I A Echeveria. Carmen Echeveria, you are the winner of um, Moving West Seven Steps of Our Success Destination Mastery. I will. Awesome. Um, you. I just need you to actually email me your address. Okay, so I do need your address because he's going to mail directly to you an autographed copy of this book with your name and everything. Okay, oh, wow. um, so that's awesome. So welcome. Oh my God, it's 207 emails in here now. That's oh amazing. my goodness. Okay, so listen now. Now the runner up. Okay. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is like. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm just like. Val, why can't I be on the other side? Like I was I'm saying, like, I was like, why can't I be on the other Okay, that's okay. Never, nevertheless, we're going to bless other people tonight. Um, so, and maybe... Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, don't like, forget the script. Pull. Don't forget the script. I ain't forgot about the script. Okay. You know what? I want the script. <laughs> I to talk to her on the phone and get the script directly. So, you know. I want the script. She might, she might do two coaching calls. She might do 30 minutes. Maybe 15 and one, 15 and other. Becky, you know what? Can we do this? Like, can we do a group? Like, because we can get, how many people can we get on a hangout? Ten? But, you know, we're not going to do your time like that. No, you schedule this on your own. No, you do the phone. <laughs> No, because if we do a hangout, then you got to, like, we got to schedule that with you, and, you know, I mean, you only work 11 hours a month, Jesus, I don't want to, you know. You're already stretching her now. <laughs> okay, I'm already getting on the phone with people. Yeah, like, I know. Like, oh, like, uh, no, I'm so obnoxious, okay, like, oh, my God, how how dare I? Well, anyways, um, I won't ask Becky for anything else tonight. Okay. <laughs> oh, I, I, I have another comment. Um, I Hi. remember when I first started listening to Keisha, um, she was talking about stretching yourself, and one was those videos, and I was like, oh, no. And then the other was with the automatic responders. You know, it was like email your list twice a day. And I could not do that for the longest time because I was like, you know, I'm bothering these people, and they're seeing all these emails coming from me, but they work. And when I started doing it twice a day, my numbers really drastically increased. And the ones that didn't want to be on there, they're not on there, and that's right. fine. And yep. my team members, they're still receiving my emails, and they, well, some of them have unsubscribed, but some are still receiving it, and they're like, well, we just love them, so we're just going to keep them coming. And I'm like, really? <laughs> you know, you're getting two a day, sometimes three, but <laughs> Nice. Well, I got that. I have, have to give credit. Them. Nice. I have to give credit to Reginald because he always told me two a day keeps the job away, so... <laughs> So that that's definitely my motivation, okay? Like you know, <laughs> you know, two emails a day keep a job away. I'm emailing twice a day, okay? Like that is like, yeah. You guys are probably waiting to see who won the coaching call, right? That's that's what everybody's waiting on, right? Probably so, huh? There's a thousand twenty five people, you guys, that are on here. This is like a record, okay? Awesome. I'm so excited. Congratulations, Carmen. Yeah, congratulations, Carmen. Can you just message me? I don't know. Who, I don't. I probably know who you are, but I probably just don't remember or something. Okay. So, anyways, the person who won, who has won the 15-minute um, coaching call with um, with Becky. Oh my God, this is so awesome. I'm so excited for whoever this is. Um, are you guys like, come on, Keisha? Dang it. I know. <laughs> oh, I just have to drag stuff out. Oh my God. It's just my nature, okay? I just have to drag stuff out because I love anticipation that I can feel. I can feel so much energy just like oozing through my computer right now. Okay, so Lori Wilson. Lori Wilson is has won the 15-minute coaching call with Becky. If you can message me back, Lori, and let me know, um, I'll connect you with uh, Becky. Um, Hi, yes. Lori's in my team, so I talk to her in my mornings on the way to work. <laughs> oh, God, Lori. Come on, Lori. All right, Lori. Lori was smart. Lori, you already <laughs> talked to her. Like, what the heck? Okay, She's so like, I'm going to more. <laughs> I know. The next person. Okay, I'm going to the next person. <laughs> Because that was not fair. Okay, that's no fair, Lori. Lori, I'll call you on my way to work tomorrow. Oh, wow. I'll call you tomorrow, too, Becky, okay? Thanks. <laughs> um... <laughs> Keisha, I'll call you. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be three-way, okay? Um, so the next person that is 
that I got an email from. His name is Steve Cook. Now, Steve Cook on your team too? No, no, I don't know Steve Cook. Okay, good, because I was about to say. Now, do you talk? Do you take calls from men? Okay, because that's the other thing. <laughs> you know, you know, everybody don't coach with men. Okay, I understand. You know, it's like my, I'm good. I want Bud to be like, what is going on? Okay, you know. Anyway, <laughs> Bud's so. over there laughing at you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Bud. Hey, unsubscribe. Bud. <laughs> Bud, unsubscribe from my messages too. Whoa. <laughs> But you fired, okay? You are nobody right. a logistics yeah. man, okay? We are firing you, but, but you're fired. <laughs> okay, so Steve Cook, then you are actually the winner of the 15 minute coaching call with yeah. Becky. She'll probably call you on her lunch break or something, or uh, I'll call you on Tuesday. Her snack break. Okay, I'll I'll give you his info. You know what, Becky? After we we end, I'll forward you his info his email. You guys can uh, work out the time and all that kind of stuff. This has been amazing, you guys. I hope that you all have enjoyed this as much as I have. I mean, I have had a blast. Um, yes, I have. So we'll have the replay. It'll be on the same um the same link. We'll leave this replay up. It'll be all the way up until next week. Um, when we get ready to do another hangout, but if I were you, I would just keep, I would watch this over, because there's some things that Becky said, I noticed that were not, she didn't say stuff like right out, you know what I'm saying, like you got to listen, you know, really listen for the message inside the message, right, and that's where the gold is, so listening to this one time today, that's cool, you know, but there's some things that you definitely miss, I know, so go back, you know, and listen to it again, you know, later on, you know, in the week or something like that, download it and really pay attention to the things that she really said because they work, you know, absolutely works. There's a lot of gold she gave away. So, um, Val, you want to go ahead and close it out? Extraordinaire. I'm waiting for the script. Oh, the script. <laughs> oh my God. I was getting, oh my God. I was getting ready to end. Oh, I mean, type it up. Cause, well, I mean, it's, however you guys want to do it. It doesn't matter to me. Well, I'll, I'll tell you where it's at. It's easy to find. Okay. Well, Give it so. To it. <laughs> so if you're a member of our group and you go into Reginald's training under the Unit of Prosperity Marketing System, okay, it has a short excerpt in a, from a script, and this is actually how I learned of Danny Johnson. In his video that describes it, he says this is taken from Danny Johnson, and so I actually went over to um, Danny Johnson's website and no, actually, well, I went over there. I saw the price of the books. And I actually purchased them off of eBay. So I and I've tore the pages out. I've used them so much. They're for a second set of script books because I just read and read and read. So you can see so it. It's a Danny Johnson script book. Yes, that's what I use. There you go. Danny Johnson script book, or is it in Reginald? Reginald reads it in his in his training. You said. Well, he has a um, short excerpt um, in the back office under the um, training, under the marketing system training, and you could sign up there. And there's some mm -hmm. there's some good tools back there too, like personal development, and um, you can listen to some of the tools that Reginald has out. That's free. Nice. Look at that, like right underneath our noses for free. I, I don't think a lot of people understand just how much value is in the marketing system. Right. There's a lot. Right. Which people, those of you who start tonight, um, you actually will get access to that. The very marketing system that she's talking about, you know, we don't charge the team at a dime to get access to this. And it's it's a gold mine. If you guys, you're trying to find software to do videos, there's Camtasia that's in there. It comes with the marketing system. And I'm going to tell you, there's a nice price tag that's on Camtasia if you go out and buy it on your own. And so for being, you know, membership has its privileges, okay, and not every team. So you can't just go and join anybody in DS Domination, and we love everybody. We're equal opportunity, you know, you know, we don't discriminate, but there are certain things that you get as a part of the unit of prosperity that you may not get in other teams. not saying other teams may not have stuff that they probably do, but there's a lot of things that you get when you, when you partner with the top income earner, okay, inside of DS Domination, first of all, and um, very good marketer. I mean, knows, I mean, is amazing at marketing. Just, we, you know, we, we did have a marketing system before every, before any, anybody, okay, let's just put it like that. So, you know, so we do have, um, and we're always training, we always have training on different platforms and stuff. We want to keep you, if,
if you decide to recruit, because it's not it's optional, right? You don't have to recruit, as you can see from Becky. I mean, you know, work eleven hours a month, you know, and I would recruit much either. Right, but you can actually, if you want to recruit, you know, if you want to, we have the resources to help you get started. Because many people that message me, they're like, Keisha, I don't know how to do it. And we have help for you, okay? So there's training if you want to do that. So awesome. Awesome. I don't keep going. Cause, yeah. <laughs> but you guys have everything now. Now it's it's out. The secret's out. Um, but we're going to, we're going to end. And... You know, just be watching out because the spotlight hour is happening every single month inside of Winning Women Network. I think with Val, we decided the last month, the last Sunday of the month, yes. we're going to be doing this, and um, we're we're eyeing someone right now. We have not, we have oh. not, um, we are eyeing. Oh my God. We have not, uh, we have not secured this host, this um, guest just yet. Oh, but I'm going to tell you. <laughs> oh I'm my going to tell you if you if. You, um, if you miss it, I mean, there'll be a recording, but it's nothing like live. You're going to kick yourself. If yep. you miss the next one, you know, should we get, you know, but we'll still have, you know, all of women are good. I mean, Becky, this has been amazing. Like, you are, man, you, you just really blow me away tonight. So, anyways, but tomorrow, you guys, tomorrow we actually do have the, um, our unit of prosperity Monday night hangout. It's at the same time here at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And you want to get on that because now next tomorrow they'll have people from all walks of life, men, women, um, you know, that are making it happen, using the platform, that are selling, that are not recruiting, some are recruiting, some are not. You want to come back tomorrow night and be empowered and inspired even more to really take this, take it, you know, and it's time to make it happen, right? It's no other thing to do, right? You're not going to find a better thing and stuff because last year you said the same thing last year that you were going to do something and you still haven't done it. And here we are a year from now, a year now, and you still haven't done anything, so it's time for you to do something, right? Tonight is the night. No more putting it off for anything else. It's your time. It's your season. This is Keisha Bass with the Winning Women Network and Valerie Mason, and we're going to see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching. For more information, go to the About tab and visit my website. You'll see it right there in the description. It's PartnerWithYvonne.com. Again, www.PartnerWithYvonne.com.